Have you been feeling disorganized? Are you failing to hit your deadlines at your work or your own business? The good news is I have the solution for you. There's one productivity app that I have used for the past eight months that takes the cake above all others as it can organize my entire life. This productivity app is Notion. Hopefully you guys have listened to some of my podcasts where I've talked about it. I really love this app. I was introduced to it by Thomas Frank. He's one of my favorite YouTubers and content creators. He actually has a video project template tracker that I use a modified version of to keep track of all my video ideas and kind of keep the status of where my video is at regarding the scripting process, recording, editing, publishing. It's amazing. I'll go into that a little bit more in another video, hopefully, when I talk about how I make my videos. But for this video, we're gonna talk about the app and about different things that I do to organize my life with Notion. So I know you're probably asking, what is Notion? It's essentially the all-in-one productivity app. It is amazing. I organize my entire life with it. It has pages, databases, workspaces. They can be interconnected or as unconnected as you want them to be. And on top of that, these pages have unlimited possibility. They can basically turn into anything you want. They have little things called blocks, which is anything that you put on the page is a block. And you know what? Actually, let me just take you into Notion so you get a better idea rather than me rambling on about the different things that it can do. Here's my Notion workspace. As you can see, I have everything from my tasks, my routines, my goals, and everything in between. However, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you the basics of a page and how I use Notion to schedule my tasks. A page in Notion can be anything you want it to be. It can be a place to write notes, as you can see, or in this case, it's actually a place where you can write a script. It can be a full-fledged project tracking database. It can be a calendar for tasks, routines, and a centralized place to combine many of these things. It's important to put everything in front of you at the beginning of the day and to have a daily planner as reference throughout the day so that you know what you need to do every single minute of every day regarding your tasks, your routine, and even maybe your school or work calendar. Here is my daily planner. Every single day, my tasks, routine, and school calendar all populate here from the other pages that I have in Notion because you can literally paste those other pages and databases onto different pages and they all will mirror into this one spot and I essentially filter it so that it showcases only the things from those databases that are from today. Anything that I put within these pages can be referenced later because all of these are completely customizable and the possibilities are endless. Now, I know you're probably asking, Dimitri, where does all this come from? Where do you get your different pages, your different tasks, all into this daily planner, so organized and so just right in your face? You don't really need to think when you're on this daily planner, but how do you get from nothing to something? Because Notion is kind of confusing. I'll preface by saying this. If you want to learn a little bit more of the nitty gritty of my daily planner, you should probably go and check out my book, 10 Steps to Saving Time and Doing More. That ebook will be found in the description box down below. And that'll give you more of a clear idea regarding some of the more granular things that happen within my Notion workspace. This video will explain that, but maybe not on as deep of a level. The reason for this is because this is going to be more conceptual. It will have some steps in there, but I'm trying to tell you the importance of why you need to use a productivity app like Notion so that you can organize your life. And I'd rather sell you on the concept of using Notion then sell you on what I do with Notion because every time I've seen somebody else's workspace, they look completely different than what I have. And I think more of just you saying, okay, I'm gonna use Notion is going to be beneficial to you. Because when I watch Thomas Frank's video and I've seen some Ali Abdel videos and other people's videos on Notion, yes, do I have some inspirations from those people? True but I really don't have the exact same setup because everyone's mind works differently. And that's a great thing about Notion since it's so absolutely customizable. So regarding the first step towards getting any sort of daily planner, you need a place where all of your theoretical tasks live. For me, this is called my things to plan page. As you can see, I have my tasks here and can actually hide the linked databases in toggle blocks. The actual pages where all of these databases live is actually hidden here, but you can see I can edit the pages through the pasted database as the mirror goes both ways regarding the actual pages. This is the great part about Notion. You can edit the pages within the database on both sides of that pasted database, mirror, whatever you want to call it, but you can organize it in different ways and manipulate the way it looks without affecting the original page and vice versa. It's really cool how customizable it is and it's honestly helped me so much in making my different pages and my different databases be so diverse and different and perfect in their own unique way. To not complicate things too much, Notion's done a really good job of making things that are on different pages still work well together just by 
pasting and mirroring that page or database onto another one. It works really well. That's kind of the point I'm getting at. Now, in order to plan your day, you're going to need a calendar database within Notion. There's a lot of different ones that are in Notion. Database-wise, you can have, I believe, tables, lists, boards, calendars, and board. That's the last one. Essentially, use a calendar view, accompany it with a Google Calendar block schedule or whatever you want to use for a block schedule because you need to set a specific time you're going to do something. If you just have the calendar on Notion and there's no specific time, you don't have reference as to when you need to get it done, We've talked about Parkinson's law before on this channel. If you don't have a reference to when it needs to get done, it's going to expand to your day. You're gonna waste your whole day doing one thing that could have taken you like an hour or two. Now, after you have a place to put down your own tasks, you can drag them onto a calendar like I have with my task slash event calendar. This is extremely effective for students. It's actually what I did at the beginning of the semester because I took all of my syllabi and I put the different homework assignments that were listed there in my to-do list or my things to plan page. And that's how I was always three to five days ahead of finishing my homework. Time constraints are key in order to be more productive. Just wanted to add that little bit in there. If you've seen any of my other videos, you understand where I'm coming from. And you should actually check out my productivity playlist on my channel so that you can learn more about how to be productive. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys went through those, check those out because it kind of gives you more of a wider frame of reference so that you know what I'm talking about sometimes. I like to repeat things so that the people who are new here will find out about those things, but also at the same time, you know, I, I don't like saying the same thing a million times. It makes me seem like I only know like five things. That's why I use a Google Calendar block schedule to showcase when I have time to do different things outside of working out, eating, and spending time with friends and family. Now, as you can see, I can reference my task slash event calendar with my block schedule and see what time I can put a task in there so I can plan out my days as effectively as possible. To save a step, if you know when you usually are going to do something, for example, I vlog on Fridays, you can use templates on your calendar in Notion so that you don't have to drag pages from your to-do list and you can see right here that I created a YouTube work session from a template I had and quickly changed the name to vlog recording day. Here you can see how my routine calendar is just the same pages over and over again with check boxes that showcase that I have completed the task or not. I actually delete the pages at the end of the day so that I can have a completely clear daily planner. Then when I reflect on my week, I look at how many habit tasks I completed and I can then gauge how my week went. I can do a little bit of a reflection and figure out what I need to do better to make my habits stick. The last part of my daily planner is my school scheduling calendar. I have this separate from the task and event calendar because I feel like it pigeonholes things enough where there isn't a crazy amount of overlap and I don't get confused. As you can see, I have when my classes are and I have properties showing when I have exams and homework due. The properties here are different than on my task calendar because I have things like professor name, syllabi, and other things that are school related and school related only. When you drag pages from one database to another, the properties will add on to each other and most of the school ones don't apply to the tasks, so that's another reason why they're so separate. My task slash event calendar and my things to plan pages both have the exact same properties so that I can avoid having any sort of added properties. Another great thing about the school calendar in Notion is that essentially it's just a bunch of pages, so I can take notes in there and I'll always know when a professor lectured on a specific topic. To wrap it all up, with my daily planner again, you can see and understand that these specific things here are just all mirrors of other databases that are filtered down to only show a list of things that I have and need to do today. You can also set it so that only certain properties will show in the list that I have here. It's clear that I have different properties that could be ticked on or off, and having the certain ones off just kind of makes it a little more clean. And that is how I organize my life with Notion. It does take a little bit of time to get used to, but I hope throughout this video, you kind of got an idea of the little bits of how it works. If you wanna learn more about Notion, I really recommend checking out all the YouTubers that make content on it. I'm actually going to have a Notion Pro in my podcast in a few weeks. I'm trying to think what day, what, July 1st? You know, I, I think. If, if I get it wrong, there'll be text there, but probably not. The possibilities and productivity hacks within Notion are infinite, and I really recommend you check out this app and at least give it a try. There's a free personal plan now. It used to cost like four or five dollars a month. I was on the student plan, so it's it's free for the like sort of premium personal plan if you are a student, but they made the personal plan free forever to have unlimited blocks, which is really huge because before it was like a thousand limit. And I was like, nah, I can't do that. I got to use the student thing. I hope that through this video, you noticed how much I love Notion through the passion that I'm talking about this video with. I just, I love the app and I hope you guys will give it a try because you are probably going to love it too. 
Thank you so much for the support you guys have given me within the past few weeks. It's been absolutely insane. I hit 300 views on a video before the next one was up, the Sunday video, last Sunday video. Hit 300 views plus before the next podcast on Wednesday came up. That's never happened. That's like 100 more views than I usually get. Um, in that time frame, so I really appreciate all the support, all the comments. 200 comments on videos now. What? What is that? I did. How did? You guys are great. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.